You're watching Grady Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Grady Brockton. I have Lynn Smith. Lynn, welcome. As Thanks, always, Mark. Always Good to pleasure. see you. You too. Um, a lot of things are going on. It's getting into the holiday season already where, you know, uh, you get your pumpkin on so we can date it and say today's Halloween, but we're talking about November and December events. That's right, and I know the calendar is going to be full as it always is in Brockton, but what I'm engaged in is something that's 125 years in the making. Okay, so um, there are a couple of events. The one you're involved in the most is the kid one that's being held on the 13th of November, right? The two days after Veterans Day. That's right. In the afternoon from 4 to 5 30. Let's talk about it. So Brockton City Hall, remember Brockton was known as North Bridgewater for many years and was not incorporated as a city until 1881. Mm -hmm. So when we were incorporated as a city, the founding fathers of the day said, you know, maybe we should have our own city hall. Mm -hmm. So they started to talk about it in 1888. And like anything else in city government, things go slowly. Mm -hmm. And so it took a while for everyone to get on the same page and decide, yes, this is the location where it's going to be built, and yes, we're going to appropriate the money to build it. So it took six years to build our city hall, but the grand opening was in 1894, September. So if my math is correct, 1894 is 125 years ago. So you are right, Mark, there's going to be two events. The adult event, the big black tie optional dress up gala is December 14th. And I'm sure someone from the committee will come and talk about that event. I think we might get the mayor himself on that That would line. be wonderful. That's what I'm trying to do because I know he was very involved in, 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 in setting this up and doing it. You and I have a meeting later on today, one of a series of many to get ready for it. But I think it's good for the kids to learn the history. I was fortunate enough to go to Brockton Public Schools, have the best history teachers in the world. I had Mr. S I had uh, Bob Sullivan's dad, who I still call Mr. Sullivan to this mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. I had a guy named David Carroll, whose uh, family member was one of the Strand 13. Wow. I had Michael Lombardo. I had great. They they were my founding. That's wonderful. Uh, okay and. City Hall was built to last. It may have took, taken them six years, but look at what we still have today and how nice it is. It's not in disrepair. It's been maintained over the years. And I think kids get a kick out of it. They look at that big structure and, you know, come through the door and... It is an impressive, impressive building. So on Wednesday afternoon after school, the 13th of November, at four o'clock, we're going to invite the children and we designed a program for like K through five grades. Mm -hmm. So we're going to invite them in, we're going to have a, a sit down program, the Council on Aging Swinging Singers are going to start us off and we're so delighted that the Cardinal Spellman High School Choir is going to come and perform. Uh, we'll have a DJ as well. Joe Lupica will be there. The mayor will give some remarks. And then, like the magic of history, the architect from 1894, Wesley Ling Minor, wrote a book for the children about City Hall and Brockton's history. And he's going to come and read his storybook to the kiddos. And then... We have Sean Henningsen, who plays a mean sax, mm -hmm. is going to lead a sing-along, Happy Birthday City Hall, and we have a special cake that's going to look like the building that Montilio's made, and we're going to smush it and we're going to eat it. Sounds like a plan to me. Anything that has cake, <laughs> okay? But if, 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 if there's something for everybody. You did say Wesley Ling Minor who designed City Hall, if you think about that era, those were kind of like the golden days of Brockton. The building we're sitting in right now was 1890. If you look at the front of Brockton Center, you see the date of the building. 
The 1890s were beautiful buildings were designed in Brockton, and some of them are still with us. That's right, and you know, Thomas Edison was here in 1888, and Mayor Whipple at the time helped him start to put together his electrical wires and cables and connections to make electricity work in homes. Remember, Brockton was a very industrial city. It was a very advanced city. We had a lot of patents about the shoe industry. And really, the most important thing was during the Civil War, up until that point in time, you didn't have a left shoe and a right shoe or a left boot and a right boot. They were made the same. You put the boots on your feet. You stuck your feet in the boots in water, mm -hmm. got them wet, let them dry, and the boots would then form to your feet. Wow. But a man named Chandler Sprague, Sprague figured out how to make a left boot and a right boot. And the soldiers loved them because they were so comfy. They were called crooked boots. And so really, we started to sell a lot of our boots and a lot of equipment to the military during the Civil War. And so in a way, City Hall is the building that Civil War uh, built. And in the beautiful rotunda of the building, there are tablets that list the names of all the men of North Bridgewater mm -hmm. who died during the Civil War. And there's a lot of interesting secrets about City Hall too. Why are the doors 12 feet high? Where are the hidden doors that lead down to the tunnels? How come we don't have any pigeons that poop on our building? Right. We have no pigeons that go around City Hall. So we're gonna talk to all the children and the young at heart right. on the 13th of November, 4 to 5.30, sort of a, a little bit about the history of Brockton, Miles Standish, Massasoit, the Wampanoags, the shoe industry, and then of course, the beautiful building of City um, Hall itself. $368,000 it cost, including the paintings. Well, if you look at public works projects now, there's no way you could have even touched that. It's gotta be a $70 that. million dollar building yeah, at this and, point in and time. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's been preserved over the years, and people mm -hmm. have done a good job keeping it. They've restored, you know, partially the rotunda with the, you know, looking down from the top, which is a great mm -hmm. view when we cover the Strand Memorial. And, um, one of these days, I'm hoping they're going to do something with the drop ceiling outside the clerk's office and the in that office there because there was a fire there. Yeah. And it, it, it did a lot of damage to the roof. It's not unsafe structurally or anything. It was just charred and scarred, and it would it, it, it would, would cost be lovely, in today's, yeah, to in today's standards, it would probably cost the $368,000. Yeah. Who knows? And, and then you get the paintings there, yeah, too. Yeah, those are which, priceless. Which and, you need they need restoration. Yeah. We did that yeah. at Brockton Public Library, and the guy that preserves the art, John Arapov, right. is looking into doing that at City Hall, too. So right. I think this is great, Lynn. Um, you know, from, it's a, it's a short period of time. It's right after school. It's good to have something for the kids, and of course, the parents have to bring the kids. You can't just drop them off, right. okay? And it's free. And you know, we really wanted to do it just before Thanksgiving, because we want to be thankful for the City Hall. We want to be thankful for the people who work so hard for the city, and we want to be thankful for our history and for being Brocktonians. So come with your kids November 13th, 4 o'clock. It's a free event. The whole thing will take about 45 minutes because that's about all little kiddos um, right. can take, maybe a little longer depending on how long it takes to hand out the cake. But it's a wonderful celebration and a great warm-up for the big adult event in December. Sounds great. Thank you for all your involvement and what you're doing. You're you're like the Pied Piper of kids. <laughs> um, you, between egg hunts and all of that stuff and history, you help bring it alive. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. <laughs>